Hello! In one of the previous videos, we tried to grow plants from various tropical seeds, while outside our window it was still freezing. And now we will show you what we managed to grow, and how our experiments are going. Let's start with avocado. After a few days, we cut off the bottom of the seed and placed it in water. The seed's shell has started to crack. And that's a good sign. It means that some process has already begun. This was confirmed by a small root that sprouted out of the bottom of the seed. We decided to help with a toothpick and gently and carefully take off the shell until we removed it. We noticed a crack that I talked about in the first video. And with each passing day, the root should grow. After a week, the root began to grow very quickly. The crack became quite wide, but the stem was still not visible. All we have to do is wait and add the water according to the degree of its evaporation and suction by the root. I'm sure everyone is interested in hearing about what happened to the mango seed. Hmm, is anything going to grow out of it too? And it seems like it will because five days after soaking in water, it grew into a thick pink root. And then the outset of the plant's stem began to show. Yeah, it's growing very fast. We also decided to take off the unnecessary shell. Under natural conditions, it would perform a protective function. But here it's not in any danger. We also made a holder out of a wire. As a result, it will be placed in such a way that the root is in the water and the seed on land. Otherwise, it could go bad. But there were small problems with the pineapple. After the first day, the pineapple didn't even show roots. So we planted a few more, but this time we waited a bit longer. Their leaves began to dry out. But at one point they stopped and we saw small roots. Yes, we seem to have succeeded! We hope that in the next video new beautiful leaves will start to grow and we will be able to move the plant into the ground. But what happened to the papaya seeds? It's a very strange fruit. Is it even possible that it will turn into a plant? Yes, it is! We got not only one or two plants, but a whole pile of them! Which suddenly sprouted out of the ground only a week after. But what are we going to do with so many plants? They won't have a lot of space in the pot and we don't need that many of them either. We thought only a few of them will grow anyways. In the end, we decided to cleanse their population a bit and remove all the unhealthy or weak plants. I had to remove about half of the plants so the others had at least the minimum space required to grow. But in the future we had another surprise. Sadly, peanut seeds did not show any signs of life they just climbed out slightly, although they can still surprise us. So what happens to the watermelon seeds? Which slightly germinated and we planted them in the soil in the last video. Nothing really happened for the first few days and we thought nothing is going to happen. But then something began to move on the ground. Yes, it lives! It's a watermelon plant! For you, our viewers, everything happens very quickly. But in reality, these videos show entire days in a span of 2 or 3 seconds. And only this sped up visual allows you to observe the growth and the movement of the plant. After all, it's incredibly interesting to observe.
At this stage the plant has already bloomed, and it already has two basic leaves, thanks to which the so-called adult leaves began to grow. And look how lovely they grew up! So now we are tasked with choosing only two of them, which we will move to the large flower pot. We selected them using the method of exclusion. And we decided to remove this plant with the formed leaves, and the one right next to it, as it seemed the most frail. Now between these two we will exclude the one with a too small stem. After all, everyone knows the thicker the stem, the better. Finally, we have two plants which we will move to the larger pot. Look at that, the roots are already quite large. The plant should survive this replanting. We move the second plant and he begins a new stage of their development. A very difficult test awaits them. Unfortunately, we have to leave the house for about a week, so no one will be able to pay attention or water the plants. We decided to try growing them regardless and put all the plants side by side on a table. Oh and by the way, by this time the mango has already grown. On the day of departure, I watered all the plants to keep them moist. We also placed a humidifier, which should maintain high humidity in the room. So the plants should have enough water in the soil. We also set up maximum light. We also placed a radio next to them so they wouldn't be sad. The experiment is in full swing, we are glad that the seeds are growing and so far we are satisfied with the results. So what happened to the plants a week later without any care and watering? We will find out in the following video.